Hey Fly Family, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you guys my four favorite natural hairstyles that are also go-to styles you can use. So if you guys are interested in these looks, then keep on watching. I always use a shirt when I'm done washing my hair because it is more gentle on your hair. Also, it controls your frizz a little better. So once I'm done feeling myself, you guys want to go ahead and take some coconut oil and disperse that throughout my hair. So now I'm just going in with my Pantene Curl Defining Pudding and I'm going to disperse that through my hair as well. This is going to activate our curls before we start our first style. Taking my water bottle, I'm just going to spritz some water over my hair. It tends to cooperate better when it's wet. Doing the most, I'm just shaking my hair out, also crunching up my hair just to deepen those curls a little bit more. The main product I'll be using is my Argan Oil Eco Style Gel, which I love. Getting into our first style, I'm going to go ahead and take that gel and apply that all around the perimeter of my head. Our first style will be the high puff, or some people like to call it the pineapple. So now I'm just taking my wig brush and I'm just brushing my hair up into place. Now I'm just taking my hard bristle brush that my mom used to tear my ears and forehead up with. <laughs> just to smooth out my perimeter a little better. I got these scrunchies from my beauty supply store. I used two, but I didn't like that outcome. So I took one and cut it in half and tied it around my puff just to make it a little tighter. If you see me looking over, I am speaking with my twin who cannot stay out of my video. She was my assistant with recording today and she plays all day long. Now she's just showing her Pantene product. Yes, this is her product, but I decided to use it for my video today. So now I'm just going in and adding some baby hairs. Please excuse Brittany. She was bothering me throughout the whole entire video. Just trying to perfect my baby hairs and normally I would tie my head up for at least 30 minutes just to make sure everything is in place but here is our finished look and we're about to go ahead and get started with style number two Jesus. 
Jesus Christ. Starting with style number two, which is a top knot bun, I'm going to go ahead and brush everything up into a high ponytail. You could leave it out as a puff or wrap it into a bun. Just adding a little more eco style gel to my edges and then I'm going to position where I want my top knot bun to sit. As I stated before, you can leave it out as a puff or put it up into a bun, and you'll see Brittany here again. But now I'm just spritzing with a little water just to get those curls popping. I can't remember what song we were listening to, but she has to go. So now I'm just forming the shape of my bun, and then you'll see me take a scrunchie just to hold that in place. So now I'm just going to take my red tail comb just to add my little curls on the side. Y'all let me know what it's called. Taking a little bit more gel just to smooth out my edges. This is one of my favorite hairstyles and as you can see I am feeling myself. I definitely need more practice with my baby hair, so once I'm finished playing with them, you will see the finished look. With my little curls on the side, yes, I'm feeling this look, period. Alright, I'm done y'all. So we're going to go ahead and get into style number three, which is a half up, half down. I took my rat tail comb and tried to make my part as straight as possible, but we'll see how that turned out. As I stated before, I tried to get my part as straight as possible, but it doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm going to go with this and I went ahead and put the front in the ponytail and spritz the back with water. Since my hair was in a ponytail, after I spritz with water, I am going to shake it out very well just to make those curls drop a little bit. Now I'm just putting the back into a ponytail and I'm going to work on my top. Just adding a little bit more gel, brushing it up into a ponytail. You can leave it out or you can roll it up into a bun. Let me just say I'm used to this. I promise y'all I won't break my neck. <laughs> So now I'm just smoothing my edges and creating some baby hairs, and then I'll show you guys the finished look.
finishing up our third look. Let me know what you guys think. Last but not least, we'll be starting on my most favorite look, the sleek ponytail. And this will be style number four. I start off in the back of my head, sectioning the hair and smoothing it into a ponytail. I added water for moisture and to help with detangling. I love a deep side part, so I'm going to go ahead and part my hair to my liking and continue to smooth the hair back into a ponytail. So now I'm going to add a little water just to give it that sleek look and continue to brush and smooth it back to form my ponytail. I decided to make this the last look because I knew I was going to use the most gel. That's why you may see a little build up but once you go ahead and put that scarf on that build up will go away. So now I'm just going to perfect these baby hairs and show you guys the final look. You look good! You look good! And here's our final look. I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to become a part of the Five Family. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Right now? Yeah, right now.